Okay, uh, this is a geography video about how to calculate the gradient on the map. So, before I start everything, I should start by defining the term gradient. In geography, when you talk about gradient, this is uh, the angle uh, of a slope. The angle of a slope, uh, which can be used to determine how steep or gentle the land is. For instance, uh, the current flat surface here, and uh, the current hill like this. And if I should draw a straight line to determine the angle of the slope, uh, you can assume that this is the angle, and that one is given to 40 degrees. And I should also have another illustration here, and I uh, should have a hill like this a hill. And um, I should draw a straight line determining the slope. Uh, that slope will be like that. And uh, this angle, you can just assume that it's uh, 36 degrees. So you can see that uh, the greater the angle, the steeper the land. You can see the uh, angle and the angle and the side is going to go very gentle. Then there's a good thing. Uh, kandi kango ka like muna one degree ndi kuti malo akha flat kwambiri so that's the stuff there um below there is an example i know kuti uh, find the gradient between point p and q so this is our diagram you can see there that's our diagram so the points this is p and this is q so uh, the formula to find the gradient formula to find the gradient. Gradient is given by um, gradient is equal to uh, vertical vertical interval that's the vertical interval divided by um, horizontal equivalent horizontal equivalent equivalent yeah that is and the vertical interval, that one is the highest contour. That's the difference between highest contour minus lowest contour. That's the difference between highest contour and lowest contour. You mean you, that's a vertical interval. And this horizontal equivalent, uh, that one is the distance on the actual ground. So that's the um, horizontal equivalent there. So, take up the question with him. What is our highest contour uh, and the lowest contour? She made it I have to join this point. So, in the bank, join P and Q. So, men the bank, join you. We can see good in the bank across this contour. The bank also cross that contour. What is the value of this contour? Uh, this value that's a 1000 and most of the times the magunto was represented in meters so this one is 1000 meters and the vertical interval uh, in the pre previous video in the course and the vertical interval so vertical interval that's the difference between two successive going to us so you can see 1900 our vertical interval that's 100 so this is 1000 this is 900 this is 800 and this is 700 or 600 or 500 the other 400 and the OU, the only 300. So, at uh, that, I did a side of the quarter, the 400. That one is 400. So, between the point P and the Q, highest contour, that's 1000, and the lowest contour, uh, that's uh, 400. It, so, she made the bang, uh, thing was a bang substitute, the highest contour, that's 1000 here. Minus lowest contour, which is uh, 400. Mind you, uh, the in meters, so that's 1000 meters minus 400 meters divided by horizontal equivalent. Horizontal equivalent, that's the distance, the actual distance on the ground. So, t cos of ways and the ruler, you can measure this uh, distance between the points using the ruler, or you can take a string, could a string to give a stretch on this one. And the Mugavanga, Mugabi is a Pajanish. The Madi linear scale, Palinia scale of age. So linear scale most of the times, Vacava zero, one, two, three.
kilometers ndi mungolenga ka string aja ah uh, ndo ga indetsa baba paralinea skill mone kuti ndi ma kilometers angati starting from zero mone kuti katira pati andi ni kilometers eh to all in short you can just take lula ndi kweza baba ni centimeters and you are going to go very those centimeters uh, to find the distance on the actual ground so uh, let's assume kuti ababa ina bizeka kuti ndi 8 uh, or 8 i should say 8 centimeters is 8 centimeters so what i need to do have to convert 8 centimeters uh, into kilometers on the actual ground so um 2 cm most of the time is on the map but can be 2 cm representing 1 km and the above uh, distance between pq and the other 8 cm so we need to find the uh, how many kilometers are there in 80 cm so just a matter of cross multiplication so if you cross multiply uh, 2 and x you get about 2 cm times x is equal to abo uh, 1 km times um 8 cm so here we are going to divide the 2 cm i want to do bank divide the 2 cm so 2 cm 2 cm will cancel remaining with x is good cm cm will cancel uh, remaining with uh, 8 2 galwa mu 8 that's 4 4 times 1 km you get about some kilometers meaning that in 80 centimeters we have uh, four kilometers so this is our horizontal equivalent that's the actual distance on the ground uh, so you may divide you can see good is easy is easy my meters so you have to convert the kilometers here to most center kilometer could have been imagine a bit of my meters and we all know good one thousand meter one thousand meters is given to uh one kilometer so in four kilometers we have uh four thousand you have 4000 meters so the difference between uh 1000 and uh, 400 that's um 600 here we have 600 meters then divide by uh 4000 we have 4000 meters so it's just a matter of um, uh uh cancelling so m m will cancel then to the good in gradient we don't have units because it's like a cancel so you may bang uh we have um, uh these zeros will cancel remaining with a six six down forward so what you need to do um make sure that the numerator in, in when you calculate the gradient the numerator must always be one so six into six that's one and then in 6 into 40 we should find 6 into 40 uh that says 6 uh 6.6 6 single bit to the nearest you can just put 7 it turns out our gradient there uh is in the ratio of 1 to 7 that is our gradient it what it means here is that um uh, there is a distance of 7 For every seven uh, distance you have, we have uh, lies in uh, one meter. I mean one. So we can say good in kind of meters, whatever. So you have to have a seven to lies with uh, one. For every seven meters you walk, there is lies in what in one meter. So that's our angle here. Eight. Uh -huh. The meaning of Bangladesh is so the big tantalina. The difference is in between gradients. So it kind of ratio ya one to fifteen, the ya one to seven. What does it mean? Which one is most steep? Uh, it turns out that this one. I mean, in the mean kind of uh, most steep because you have a uh, denominator one, uh, denominator one one. So the larger the denominator. Um, the less steep the land is the smaller the denominator um uh as you say good uh the steeper the land is uh, to mind you uh, if you are enjoying this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um gadbali funso number ndio mweja 0882 Uh, 4355562 muto ndibizo mini gogo maso opita so facebook just search you need online classes so let me finish by this one man na kuti dominate ekagula ndi kuti bakala list step uh nyumine dominate akachepa bakala kuti si a little bit gent i mean it's more steep we less steep uyu more steep It, what it means there is that uh, you have to cover more distance which is 50 feet uh, to rise 1 meter edi pomu uyu wa 7 uh, you have to cover 7 to rise with 1
Hii hii tumiri nga mkangiri zimi ni sisi Kwa nato za kuti Mkangu wana denominator wa mkulu Mkangu za kuti That one is sorry, it's gentle Mkangu za wana denominator wa ngono That one is more, more steep As you can see uh, in the illustrations Hii So, te waka one to one Ndiku that one is more steep Kwa nato za kuti A short distance one lies Hii More steep Hii Kwa waka the gradient of zero Ndiku di malo Nda flat Hii to gradient of zero Ndiku di malo nda flat So That's the thing there uh, I should repeat by saying that you have, If you have enjoyed this video Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel And uh, This is how we found uh, The gradient Hii to So uh, If there are queries or questions In any subject Number in the winner Ah, uh, 882 435 five, You can also be a member of unique online classes uh, on WhatsApp group. There's no problem with that. And if you want to contribute something on this one so that I should be uploading more videos for you, uh, you can use the same number sending something via Pamba. And uh, I will appreciate your support. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, have a nice play always.